Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing a complete color change on my low porosity natural client here. And she's also getting a twist out. Wanna see how I do it? All right, stay tuned. So my client here drove all the way from Tampa, Florida and decided that she wanted to get a full color change. So we're gonna be doing a mahogany color. Now to start the color process, because she is coming from a virgin level one slash two, I decided to do what we call a silk cap. So a silk cap is a, um, I'll use the word healthier way. Um, in this instance, it's a healthier way of getting the hair lifted um, a little bit slower than just going straight in with 100% raw bleach or lightener and developer. Now, a soap cap does still involve developer, but it also uses some distilled water, a little bit of shampoo. You can also add a little bit of lightener to it as well. But this allows you to slowly bring the hair out of that level one or two and graduate the hair to higher levels such as three, four, five, six, sometimes even seven, really depending on um, the level of lightener or volume of level of volume that you're using um, in this instance. So if you notice her ends are already pre-lightened, which is perfectly fine. Um, I'm really just going through and working on the virgin hair, which is the main focus. And then of course we will extend it through to the ends just to get everything on an even playing ground. Now, like I said before, she wants a mahogany. Mahogany is like a red copper, which that is definitely easy to achieve, but you guys know that I'm one of those people, I'm a stickler for educating my clients. So while we were sitting in the chair, we talked a little bit about red hair color. And just so you guys have an idea of what we talked about, red hair color and coppers are usually the first to fade. Um, it's just something with reds and coppers, they fade first. So I was also talking with her about how she's going to care for her hair after the fact and basically went over the rules in regards to her getting this new color. I always say treat your hair color as if it was a Mercedes and you are jumping out of a Ford. Ford maintenance is going to be different from Mercedes maintenance. Mercedes maintenance is going to cost you a little bit more. It might be a little more entail. So you want to just make sure that you are treating your hair exactly that way. Now, once we finish with the lightening process, I rinsed her out and now I'm gonna go through and use some of our moist repair shampoo to go ahead and cleanse her hair and her scalp as well as add some hydration in with this process. Now, I have already lightened her, but we did not shampoo her. So recall from the beginning, I started from just virgin dry hair. And at this stage of the process, we do want to make sure that we give her whatever treatments we need to give her, that we are giving her whatever moisturizing treatments, hydration, strengthening, whatever is needed. We're going to do it at this phase of the process. Why? Because once I put her fashion color on, and fashion colors are any colors outside of blonding, once I put her fashion color on, at that point, I don't want to run the risk of shampooing her too many times, and then it starts to diminish the life of that color. So this is the reason why at this stage of the process, I wanted to go ahead and shampoo her. Um, I also wanted to ensure that her hair and scalp was clean and also that her hair was not dehydrated because no matter what, whether it be a soap cap or just raw lightener and, and developer, it still has a way of drying the hair because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It is removing the pigment from the actual strand. Now, if you are one who has hair color um, of this type, whether it be a lighter or darker shade, you always want to keep in mind that moisture is definitely key. You do want to make sure that you don't allow the hair to dehydrate because that is the easiest way to have a lot of shedding and breakage. So for her, she can use either our low porosity collection, which is infused with snail mucin. It's an ultra hydrating collection or she can use our moist repair collection, which both are going to give her ample um, moisturizer or hydration on either end. And it's gonna help to keep that hair nice and soft and not dehydrated. Now for her second shampoo, I did a cocktail utilizing our Control It collection, 
which is the Mend It Shampoo. And I also put a couple drops of our Goddess Hair Repair Serum in there just to add a little bit of strength to it as well. Now, this is something that you can also do at home, which is add a little bit of your Goddess Hair Repair Serum to your shampoos and conditioners. As I always say, our products are intermixable, excluding our protein treatment. So this is definitely going to help to give your hair more than one type of treatment in the same wash, which is the reason why we call it a cocktail. Now, while you guys are watching the shampoo, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are having a 50% off flash sale. The flash sale basically gives you 50% off all of our elite hair care products, excluding our two newest products, which is our shield heat and humidity protectant spray, as well as our new Ultra Hydrate Plus Moisturizing Cream, which is a daily moisturizer. Those two new products are also available on the website. They are just are not a part of the 50% off flash sale, but you are welcome to go and shop the sale by visiting our website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Now let's get back into this wash. As you can clearly tell, she is super relaxed. <laughs> And a little of our products go a very long way, you guys. So if you guys notice, there's a lot of suds. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that her hair was nice and clean. And I wanted to make sure that her scalp was nice and clean. Because when you are doing semi-permanent colors or even demi-permanent colors, you want to ensure that you are starting with a clean canvas, whether it be pre-lightened or not pre-lightened. Because those colors adhere better when the canvas is clean, it's not like a permanent color where permanent color is using developer or activators and those developers and activators can serve the purpose of stripping the hair the same way. Now to add to the hydrating features here and just making sure that I'm taking really good care of her hair and her scalp, I did use a little bit of our Ultra Hydrate Low Porosity Hair Mask that is infused with snail mucin that is going to number one hydrate the hair number two it's going to leave that hair nice and detangled at the same time it's going to leave the hair soft and then we are able to go in and rinse her with cool water and then start applying our mahogany color now i always like to detangle my clients before i start the color process because i know at the end of the day you guys, hair color can change the texture of the hair or the feel of the hair. And I always just want to make sure that I'm starting with the correct hair texture and type or the hair feel to make sure that I'm not creating a breeding ground for extremely dehydrated or dry, rough feeling hair. That is not what you want with hair color. And a lot of stylists don't really care about that, but I have been training in hair color for years and years. A lot of people don't know that I was an advanced artistic educator for a hair color company, which is actually the color company that I'm using right now. But I learned from the best. I learned from the greats. And you always just want to make sure that the process starts from the beginning and not towards the end. So I'm giving my client ultimate hydration, ultimate moisturizing, ultimate cleansing, ultimate detangling, all of that because I'm preparing the hair for what can sometimes be a strenuous process when it comes on to hair color. All right, you guys. So I am going to go ahead and start applying her color, which in this case, um, I'm just applying it to the roots and mid shaft first. Remember her, her ends are actually already pre-lightened which this is gonna create an amazing cascade of colors, okay? So it's still gonna be an even shade, but it also creates that highlight, low light effect in certain areas. And she really just wanted a beautiful mahogany color. So I just knew that this was gonna be really, really it. So I was, I'm like, I love color, you guys. If you don't know me, I love doing hair color. Which kind of leads me to where I am telling you guys that soon I will be releasing my own hair color line. So you guys stay tuned. Now I finished her color, as you guys can tell here. I sprayed her with a little bit of low porosity leave-in spray. I'm actually adding some of our newest products, which is our Ultra Hydrate Plus Daily Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to put this on first because I am actually going to be doing a twist out on her. So I want to leave the hair nice and hydrated, okay? That's super important because twist outs are really dependent on, number one, the technique, number two, the feel of the hair, okay? Super important. 
Now, I like to do my twist outs using our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. It makes this process so, so easy because it helps to keep the hair nice and detangled. It makes everything nice and sleek. And when I do my twist outs, I like to do it kind of like a cornrow style, but these are just two strand twists to the scalp, you guys, okay? So I'm only doing two strand twists to the scalp. And then I rope twist them all the way to the end. And you also wanna just make sure that your rope twists are nice and clean. Just because you're doing a twist out, that doesn't mean that it doesn't need to be nice and clean, you guys. I am a stickler for that. I need my twist out to be able to be worn as a style when they walk out of the salon. So that's super important for me. Also, because she has short hair, I decided to do smaller um, partings because I wanted to make sure that she had good definition. And because I know that she is short, the larger the partings, the less defined the twist out will be. So I did mine as though we were literally braiding her for a show or an event. And honestly, you guys, this makes a heck of a difference. So you want to just kind of follow this routine when you're doing your twist outs. Do your twist outs so that they last and so that you get good definition. And just to do that, really make sure you're using good product. Number one, make sure your partings are nice and equal. Make sure you're not doing too large of sections depending on the length and the density of your hair. And just also make sure that you are twisting your hair all the way to the end because that is super important unless you decide to use rods where you want to do like rods on the end because you want it curly. You can do that too. For her, I did not put rods on the end because she's actually leaving the salon with her twist still in. And of course, she's not going home with the rods, but she is able to add the rods when she gets home. Now, she drove from another city to come and get her hair done, which is about an hour and a half. Guys, you guys have been coming to me from all over the world, and I am extremely thankful. I am grateful for all of you who trust me to do your hair, and you watch my work, and you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And that leads me to say, if you are new here and you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of one of the lavish channels on YouTube. And please don't forget to also thumbs up this video, you guys, and leave some feedback in the comments. Tell me what you guys thought about the color and, of course, what you guys thought about the finished um, twist out because you're not going to actually see the style. Now, a pro tip, whenever I do my twist outs, I like to spray my clients down with goddess polish before I put them under the dryer. That is going to add as a heat protectant. It's also going to add as a glossifier. As you guys can tell, her twists are definitely uniform. They are really, really nice. The color is amazing. She loved the color. I love the color. And then I'm just finishing her off with some goddess polish so she can be on her way to get back on the highway. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to go and shop our 50% off flash sale and leave your comments down below. Bye.